So there was a pretty crazy debate that happened yesterday. That's between two live stream personalities. That's uh, Mike from PA Central Committee. You may you may or may not have heard of him. He he's got a pretty big following on Twitch, but he doesn't really have any on YouTube. So you may or may not have heard of him. If you're into the Twitch sphere, you've probably heard of him. Um, Vosh is uh, somebody who's pretty big on YouTube now, so I'm sure you've heard of him. Uh, but they got into a pretty big debate, and I have to say that it's probably the lowest point that I've seen for the left. Although I will say that I think it's sort of the only logical conclusion uh, that could be reached from the culture that was being fostered. That culture is obviously the, you know, uh, extreme, extreme splits amongst the left, right? Super divisions. There's so many different flavors, different specific ideologies. There's anarcho-syndicalism, there's anarchism, and then there's libertarian socialism. It's just so much different shit, right? Um, but then people saying, you know, this other person isn't progressive. Like when I say David Pakman is not a real progressive. So that kind of stuff, in addition to being on Twitch and live streaming in general, um, when you kind of, they're kind of associated in this community with basically, um, this sort of, uh, content that's this really, you know, blood sport, essentially just rage, cocaine rage at people in debates and just go crazy. And so, you know, obviously it's really dumb. Uh, but that, that's the content, right? People love it. People enjoy it so much, right? Watching two guys just fucking just yell at each other, call each other fat and like rat face or whatever, which is what happened in this debate. Um, that's what people love, right? So I listened to it. I was watching the services live stream, reacting to it uh, in the background as I was playing a video game. It was entertaining. So I'm not going to play it for you, but uh, obviously go watch it if you want to. If you want actual substantive debate, do not watch this because there was... Very little of that. Very little. There's a little bit of glimmer of hope at the end, but that also kind of makes it even more sad. Um, but basically, a TLDR is essentially they get into the call and immediately it's just immediately just elementary school. You're fat. My dick is bigger than yours. Um, you know, you look like a rat face and just all of this stuff that has no place in political conversations, especially amongst the left. This is definitely the lowest point of the left because I've never seen, I can't recall a debate with two people who are on the quote unquote left who both are pretty prominent, right? Mike from PA is pretty prominent, concurrence like 2.5k on Twitch live, Vosh is obviously pretty huge on YouTube. That's two prominent lefties and they're literally in a debate calling each other names about their looks and stuff like that. This is the lowest point. I'm not kidding you. But there are things to potentially learn from that. And it's, if you want substantive debate, don't go into it like that. This is, you know, there does, I think the divides are pretty strong. And, you know, I think that there's somebody who they're really trying to model after, obviously, uh, that's created this sort of uh, content. Um, but this is not really good. Now, um, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh, but it was kind of sad because they actually got into some pretty interesting conversations towards the end where they started talking about suburban cities and quote unquote brain drain, which is, I guess, uh, when people who get college degrees just dip out of the area because there are no jobs. Um, you know, how do you solve that and that kind of stuff? And I think Mike fr and Mike from PA was basically trying to say that Vosh doesn't know anything about politics. I did find his lack of um no, knowledge about car eastman i did find that to be pretty uh pretty sketch that's you know but the thing is with that i don't think vosh is really uh as much into per se like politicians and stuff like that as more of you know uh talking about issues and stuff like that so you know it, you don't necessarily have to know car eastman but it's probably a good thing if you do but that doesn't necessarily have to be his role i guess but Mike definitely does do a lot of more uh, local politics stuff. That's where socialists thrive is local races because those are the easiest to win. And so obviously building a bottom up is a pretty good strategy. If you're a socialist, I'm not a socialist, of course. Um, but um, it does appear that from their conversation, Vosh, I, it's really hard for me to believe that Vosh is an actual socialist. So I'm not sure where he got the stolen valor from, but he definitely does not strike me as a socialist in any way. Especially towards the end, I mean, he was saying his solution to brain drain was a mayor talking to Fortune 500 companies, giving them tax breaks to come into their area. 
I mean, does that sound like a solution that a socialist would literally under any circumstances propose? Just let that sink in for a second. A socialist said that the solution was a mayor talking to Fortune 500 companies. Obviously, that implies you're giving some kind of leverage away, tax breaks, incentives to come into your city and, you know, bring your businesses, your corporations. Does that sound like a socialist? No. And his really, really fast flip to Biden after Bernie, which obviously supporting Biden after Bernie was the right was the right idea and it was the right thing to do. But the speed with which he pivoted was a little bit surprising to me. It was almost like, wait, are you not invested in this at all? Um, definitely does not strike me like Vosh is an actual socialist. No, not even close. Um, basically in no way, shape or form. So, you know, was there jealousy in this involved that, you know, potentially Vosh has a bunch more subscribers and viewers than Mike from PA does? Maybe. I don't know. You know, there's obviously sort of a central figure that's playing a role in this that both of them are being influenced by. It's a weird, like, tug of war here. And Vosh may be doing this, hey, I'm a good socialist type of thing to, you know, uh, try to appeal to those kinds of neoliberal fans. But this conversation could have been good. If you took all of the personal shit out of it, you could have had an actual interesting debate. Or it doesn't even have to be a debate. Just a conversation, exchange of ideas, right? Because a debate implies you're trying to win. I'm more interested in getting to answers on things, figuring out what people think, you know, what's on their minds. Um, so it would have been interesting talking about, you know, Mike from P.O. was talking about annexing suburbs or whatever. It's a, I'd never heard of it. Um, it was a potential real sort of uh you know exchange of ideas uh but we didn't get any of that because it was essentially playground i'm gonna throw shit at you and it's just gonna be personal attacks which was really really cringy seriously when i say that this is the lowest point for the left i really am not kidding um this is a direction that people should not go into if you are the left prominent figures but again that is what that culture fosters right that sort of uh, cocaine type of uh, it's like debate I don't even know how how they do that I mean I, I have to say I'm impressed the ability to just be that pissed off and just saying a bunch of personal you know attacks at each other like who who can do that that that's a real skill to be able to do that I mean wow that's just so mentally taxing um, but you can check it out if you want for entertainment it was not something that was a substantive debate. So if you're looking for substance, I would definitely not go over there. But if you're looking for just something to laugh at and see how dumb it is and really see the lowest point of the left, I would go check it out. Okay, because, wow. I mean, this this was really, really, really bad. And they could have had an interesting conversation, but obviously they just spent their entire time doing personal attacks and calling each other fat and rat face or whatever. Definitely very cringy stuff. This is Lowe's point. Please, if you are a figure on the left, do not go in this direction. Be cordial. Be respectful in conversations. Even if you are to take passive-aggressive shots when you're face-to-face, -face, it just looks cringe when you do that. I mean, there's no real winning with that. I'm sorry. There's just no winning with it. Don't go in that direction.